Welcome to Batch as a Programming Language Tutorial, Bonus Tutorial, Exponents. This tutorial is for people who have completed all Batch as a Programming Language tutorials. No Batch programming methods will be explained, only the code itself will be explained. This tutorial teaches you how to build a function that will calculate a number with an exponent. The concept of exponents. An exponent is the mathematical idea of a number multiplied by itself n amount of times. n being the power of the exponent. In batch, there is no standard mathematical operator that automates this process. We will create a function called power, we will pass the function two parameters. The first is the number we wish to raise to a power. The second is the power we wish to raise it to. Within this function we create a loop, each time the loop is executed the number will multiply times itself. The loop should run one less time than the value of the power. For example, if the power is 2, the loop runs once. If the power is 3, the loop runs twice. If the power is 4, the loop runs three times, and so on. At the end of the loop we return the end result back through the first parameter replacing its value. Because we cannot replace the value of a constant number, the first parameter has to be a variable, but the second does not. For example, call power, var1, var2, is a legal function call. Call power, var1, constant number 5, is a legal function call. Call power, constant number 5, var1, is not a legal function call. And call power, constant number 5, constant number 2, is also not a legal function call. Getting into the script itself. We create our power function. We then create a number variable called pcount, and initialize it with a value of 1. We also create a temporary number variable, called ptemp, and initialize its value to the first parameter. At this point we create our loop, I called it ploop. Within the loop we increment our pcount variable by 1. And then set the temporary variable to itself times the original number, or the first parameter, using the times equals technique. The first time through the loop this will be itself times itself. To decide if the loop should run again, we compare the counting variable to the second parameter, or the power. If they are not the same we run the loop again. After we have ran the loop the correct amount of times, we set the first parameter to our result, returning our calculated value. We then clear our p count and p temp variables. Using this power function, we can now create squared and cubed functions, which call the power function. Squared calls the power function with a second parameter of 2. Cubed calls the power function with a second parameter of 3. We do this because our squared and cubed functions would only require one parameter, making it easier to use, as we will see in the square root bonus tutorial. Here we take a look at these square and cube functions. Within our start label, we get a number from the user. We then create a number variable, var, giving it the value entered from the user. We call the square function with an argument of var. Then, echo to the screen the number given in our squared result. Likewise, call the cube function, also with an argument of var. And again, echo the number given in its cubed results. If we execute our script, when prompted for a number, enter any number. 
I will enter 5, and press enter. The console displays the results. 5 squared is 25. And, 5 cubed is 125. If we check this on our calculator, we can see that 5 squared is 25. And 5 cubed is 125, confirming our script's results. Try this for many examples to make sure the script is working properly. Thank you for watching Batch as a Programming Language Bonus Tutorial, Exponents. I hope you have found this useful and watch my other Batch Programming Tutorials. Please rate this video and subscribe to my channel. I also welcome any questions or comments. Goodbye.